in today's class we will discuss how to draw the ellipse by using arc of circle method or the another name for this is intersecting arcs method okay here for doing the ellipse we need some data so i took the textbook question for getting the data so according to it here i have written a point moves in a plane in such a way that the sum of its distances from two fixed points is 100 mm just mark here two fixed points means it is f1 plus f2 is 100 mm apart is 130 mm okay 130 is the major axis length name and draw the locus of the point okay so the name of that curve is ellipse because here fixed points are given f1 plus f2 it is 100 major axis distance is given so the name of the curve is ellipse first mark the given data so in this problem major axis length is given it is 130 mm and sum of two fixed points f1 plus f2 is given it is 100 mm distance so major axis is 130 mm mark first initially endpoints 13 centimeter draw the major axis mark the middle point in 13 centimeter 6.5 is the middle point okay and give the names for major axis a and b middle point is o the given data is the distance between two fixed point is 100 mm okay from middle point i am taking 50 this side f1 50 this side f2 because this O is the middle point for both F1 and F2 also. Okay, So at middle I am keeping 50. So this is F1. This is F2 at 10. Okay, Total is 100 mm or 10 centimeter. So this is F1. This point is F2. So here we have marked the given data. At the middle point just do one line. We don't know how much length minor axis just do one line okay of some length after doing this line we need to mark the minor axis length so for marking minor axis length take OA radius or OB radius both are same OA radius F1 center just do an arc here and this side also one arc the intersection points are the end points of minor axis CD okay this is the minor axis length if in question they are asking what is the minor axis length, you have to measure this by using scale, CD length, you have to give the value. Okay, after getting these points, minor axis points, now we have to do ellipse. For doing ellipse, we need some points after fixed point. We can take any distance, any number of points, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. But here I am taking equal distance, 3 points I am taking. Okay, I am taking 1.5 centimeter distance, 3 points. In three points here point one two three the distance between any two point is 1.5 centimeter here we can take at any distance okay not necessarily equal distance any number of points also take we can take five points six points like that here i'm taking three points okay after marking these points take the first point here i have written point one here we have to take a1 radius a1 radius centers are initially f1 and f2 next so a1 radius And then center is F1 initially. Just do an arc here, both sides. Similarly, same radius, F2 center. Okay. And then here we got the arcs for getting the points. Okay. Here we have to take radius is next radius is B1. Okay. How to take B1 radius from B2 first point? b1 radius and centers are same f1 f2 okay so f1 center just cut this arcs previous arcs same f2 center okay b1 radius same b1 radius cut this arcs so here we got just remember from the first point okay this point we got four points okay take the next point point two radius is a2 okay and centers are same for all f1 f2 a2 radius And then F1 center, just do an arc like this. Same radius, F2 center, do an arc at both sides, okay, of some length. Getting these arcs, we need points, take radius B2, okay. So for B2 radius, centers are F1, F2. 
F1 center cut this previous arcs similarly F2 next center cut this arc so here cut this arc okay now we got from point to this point this point this point this point now next take point 3 okay and radius is A3 okay centers are same F1 F2 for all the points A3 radius Okay, A3 radius, F1 center, H2 and arc, this side and this side. Same A3 radius, center is F2 now. Okay. H2 and arc here and here. Next radius is B3. Okay, and center is F1. B3 means we have to take from this side. B3 radius, F1 center, cut this arcs. Similarly, same radius, F2 center, cut these arcs. Mark all the points here. This is P1, P2, P3. Here, P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash. And here, mark points Q1, Q2, Q3. Here, Q1 dash, Q2 dash. Here, Q3 dash. Okay. Join all the points through A, P1, P2, P3, C, Q3, Q2, Q1, and then B, and these three points, D point, and this point to A for getting the complete ellipse. This French curve for uh, joining all these points, or we can use this type of French curve also for joining these points. Okay, like this. We can join A and C through this curve. I am using this curve for joining the points. Okay, this is the given ellipse. Mark the given dimensions that is major axis length and the fixed point distance 100 mm. If they are asking minor axis length, CD length, you have to measure it with scale and mark at some distance on the vertical dimensional line. 